Uh, I put some pinto beans in a deep fryer thinking I'd put them in a crock pot. Honey, I thought somebody was shooting up my apartment. And I, I was running around in there trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, y'all, what y'all eating? Good morning. Or afternoon. I don't know because I slept in because that's my business. Honey, you are in love. Now go on about your business. I don't care what right now feels like. And, honey, I don't care what you did in your past. Hallelujah. I'm free. Honey, we free. So, your heart is beating. Sis, mm-mm. You are special. How y'all doing? <laughs> mm. Do that little laugh, because you can. You get the point. I'm excited, okay? These days in this quarantine life, has been a lot different, okay? I used to I used to be able to wake up and have a cute little quick little waffle uh breakfast that sometimes my son ate in the car because that's my business. Oh everybody's home. So everybody looking at me like what you cooking for breakfast? So I'm like, oh Jesus, do I gotta cook something every morning? Oh, look, see. Already ready. Are you ready for a smoothie? <laughs> you gotta dance when you get a smoothie. When you know the smoothie on the way, you gotta dance. Okay. You're making a big smoothie, like so, like that. Like so, like that. <laughs> that's right. And then Quest gonna add some bananas in there. How long is it gonna take you to peel that thing, boy? <laughs> Why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know. Why did the banana go to the doctor? It wasn't peeling well. <laughs> <laughs> like so, like that. Like, like so, like, like that. that. <laughs> Playing protein from the hemp. I'm just gonna put as much as like, like so, like that. And, ooh, not that much, Jesus. I dance while we blend. Breakfast is served. Oh, honey, listen, I'm from the South, child. I always tell people I didn't go vegan because I ain't like how non-vegan food tasted. The first thing I thought I learned to cook was fried chicken. It looked pretty on the outside, okay? But when we cut it open, honey, it was bloody murder. I said, oh, Lord, I probably would have went vegan back then. Um, <laughs> you know, my whole reason for becoming vegan or being on a plant-based journey was uh, I was sick for quite some time. I woke up January of 2016 uh, with a resting headache in the back of my head. And that headache rested there for one year and seven months, every single day. Very bad chronic fatigue, chronic pain. I would fall when I would walk. Felt like, you know, my body was attacking itself and nothing was working. My daughter came home from school one day and said, Mom, I saw this documentary. I think you should watch it. And it was what the hell. So I decided to do a 30-day vegan challenge after watching the documentary. And we did it all together with my family. The first 10 days of the 30 day challenge, my headaches went away. At day 30, I was like, I'm not gonna stop. This is gonna be my life. And I ain't looked back since. And that's how I began the journey. Honey, I'm about to make a good old veggie wrap. Got my tomato, avocado, mixed greens, purple onions, and of course, vegan Parmesan. Mm-hmm. Gonna wrap it all up. Like so, like that. Ooh, honey, get into it. You ready? Pray over it. Ooh, God, we thank you. Amen. Now I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it. But can I take a first bite right now? <laughs> Cause that's my business. Mm. In the South, you know, you ate anything, right? Or you ain't eat. <laughs> that's how my daddy said, you gonna eat or you ain't gonna eat, right? As you get older, thank God we grow and we learn how to still have the luxury of our memories and the foods that we used to eat, but in the way that we eat now. And I have definitely figured out a way to accommodate my palate. Eating a lot during quarantine, we probably all have quarantine. But I try to make it exciting and different every day that I can so that we don't just get stuck on eating the same things over and over. They love lasagna, pizzas from scratch. And now when I say from scratch, I just mean all the ingredients, but I don't be rolling no dough because I'm not a baker. I don't do well with that. I think I would probably blow up a kitchen. Uh, baking ain't my ministry. People be like, oh, she sound like she, she baked good cakes. I don't. <laughs> Sometimes after a long day, you're tired, you don't feel like cooking, and I order pizza. Y'all see that? Ooh, honey. Ooh, you see this got avocado on the pizza and a little bit of um, pasta. Can you see that? You know why I do that sometimes? Because it's my business. And I can do that if I want to. My daughter kept saying, Mom, you should get on TikTok. I was like, girl, ain't that for the kids? Why in the world would I get on TikTok? She was like, I just think it'd be fun. You'd be like the, the TikTok mom or something. I was like, girl. Music on it. Well, I want to no, do I'm music. talking about the thing where the people be dancing. We want to do the choreography. I told my daughter. I'm gonna get on there, but I wanna do the renegade. Go, go, go. Still to this day, I can't do it. I just thought, well, let me see if I can do what I do on TikTok. 
But honey, I didn't know it was gonna turn out the way it did. <laughs> Had no idea. <laughs> We have this vision or this plan for our life, right? And it looks one way to us. And God will allow it to show up looking completely different, but you still got to be willing to go through it. And that's what I did. And now it brought me to this moment. And look who in there. Oh, my God. Just really beginning to live my dreams at 41. And it's the most amazing thing. The other thing about it was you only get one minute. And I was like, Lord, I talk slow, Jesus. So remember, even if you fall flat on your face in the process, in order to fall flat on your face, baby, you're still moving forward. Like that, like that. <laughs> like so, like that, right? So don't you worry your pretty little head. Everything gonna be all right. I love you. I'll talk to you later. You know, we're blessed to be able to have a platform if anybody wants to watch you. And so we gotta be responsible with what we put out. And I just wanted people to feel something. When I was sick, I went through depression and major anxiety. I understood what that dark space feels like. I know it very well. Um, I've been through a whole lot of my life. You come through it to help others come through. And so people would say on there, oh my gosh, she feels like the mother I never had. Oh, wow, her voice makes me feel like I'm getting a hug. And then it became a responsibility to me. And I thought, oh, these people need something. But I want people to feel like it's just me and you. Because we're living in dark times, right? From COVID-19 to the Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, so much at once, right? And the thing about me is I'm free. And I know it. People may only get a little glimpse of light. And if I can be that light for one minute in somebody's day, I wanted to be that. And so that's why I do it. Um, and I will always do it. Yeah. Go about your business, baby. Have yourself a good night, honey, and tomorrow have a good day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's here. Y'all see how my light went out? That I means it's time to go to sleep. Don't you mess up nobody else's day, all right? <laughs> Love you. Good night. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. That was you. I'd be like, oh, that means I did good. Very good. <laughs>